So in my last video, I showed you how to create a consistent AI influencer step-by-step -step using prompts, locking the seed, and all the methods to keep the same face and style across different images. But I know that for some of you, even after doing everything right, sometimes you still get those little issues. Maybe the face slightly changes, or suddenly the AI generates a totally new person. It happens, right? So in this video, I want to show you another method you can use, a new and really powerful way, thanks to something called Google Nano. Banana, which is now integrated directly inside Whisk. If you haven't heard of it yet, Google Nano Banana is basically Google's latest and most advanced image editor. It lets you upload a photo and then edit or generate new versions that still look like the same person, and it does this with incredible consistency. And by the way, if you're new here or it's your first time watching my videos, I've already done a full tutorial on how I create a consistent AI influencer using Whisk AI, where I go deep into how to write the prompts when and how to lock the seed, and everything else you need to know to get consistent results. So after watching this video, you can check that one out next. The link is right there in the description. All right, now let's jump right into it. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up Whisk AI. Once you're in, you'll notice that the interface looks pretty simple and clean. Next, you'll need to choose one of the images you love. If you previously generated an AI influencer using the method I showed you in the previous video, simply pick the image that best represents represents the influencer you envision. That will be the one we'll use for this next step. If you haven't generated any images on Whisk AI yet, you can also use a photo of yourself. Just make sure you're using images that you have full rights to, images you've created or generated yourself. Avoid mm -hmm. using photos of real people or influencers you find online, as that's not the right approach for this method. For this tutorial, I'll be using this image as an example to show you how to use Nano Banana, which is now integrated into Whisk AI. Once you've selected your image, head over to the left panel and open it. You'll see a section labeled Subject. This is where you'll upload your chosen image. After uploading, Whisk AI will automatically analyze it. Once the analysis is done, make sure the Subject checkbox is ticked. Sometimes it might be unchecked by default, so double-check that before continuing. Now, in the Prompt section, you'll describe what you want to generate. Your prompt can include details like clothing style, scene, and posture, especially if you want your AI influencer in a specific pose. Whisk AI will then use your uploaded image as the subject to create consistent and visually similar images of your influencer. Next, enable the precise mode to ensure consistency. This is where you'll also see the integration with Google Nano Banana. Make sure precise mode is turned on. This keeps your images consistent and closely matches your subject. If it's turned off, Whisk AI will take a more creative approach, which may lead to variations that don't look exactly like your original subject. You'll also notice a section showing your seed number. We'll lock that later, but for now, leave it as it is until until after generating the first round of images. In the Aspect Ratio section, you can choose between square or portrait ratios. For this tutorial, I'll use the square ratio, but you can switch to portrait if you prefer a specific image format. The landscape ratio isn't really necessary here unless you're creating content for YouTube, since most AI influencer images are meant for social media platforms. Now let's go ahead and add our first prompt to generate the first round of images. Whisk AI will create two variations for you. As you can see, the generated AI influencer looks exactly as the subject image we uploaded, which is exactly what we want. The integration of Google Nano Banana really helps maintain character consistency when precise mode is enabled, but it's still early to judge. Let's create a few more images to test consistency further. Before generating the next set, go back to the seed number section and lock it. Don't skip this step. Locking the seed number ensures future generations maintain the same look and style. Also, make sure to save your seed number somewhere safe. You might need it later if you plan to generate more images of your AI influencer in the future. You can write it down, save it in a note, or even take a screenshot. Just don't close your tab without saving it, because once it's gone, you won't easily retrieve it again. After locking your seed number, enter your next prompt and click Generate to create a new set of images. As you can see, the second round still maintains perfect consistency. The AI influencer looks exactly the same as before. I'm honestly impressed with how consistent these results are. This updated method works even better than the first one I showed you since it gives you more control over your AI influencer's appearance. Still, I'd recommend checking out the first video if you haven't yet. That's where I explained in detail how to write effective prompts for Whisk AI. It'll help you get even better results when creating your own AI influencer. So far, I'm really happy with how everything has turned out. We'll keep generating more images to test further, so stick around until the end to see the final outcome. And of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think the results maintain consistency? Let me know in the comments what you think about the images we've generated in this tutorial. Now, let's 
move on to generating the third round of images and see if our AI influencer still maintains the same consistency. That's incredible. Even in this third round, the images still look exactly like the same person. I decided to show you a sped up version of the process so you could see how I kept generating image after image. And as you can see, all three rounds still produced the same consistent AI influencer. However, in this latest round, I noticed a small issue. The color of the gym wear didn't come out exactly as I described in the prompt. For example, in one of the images, Whisk AI repeated the lilac sports bra from the original subject image instead of using the new color I had requested. This can sometimes happen, especially when the original subject image already features a strong color or theme, like gym wear in this case. Whisk AI might interpret it as you wanting a similar look instead of changing the color completely. Don't worry if you experience this too. It doesn't mean the tool has stopped working correctly. Sometimes Whisk AI simply picks up visual patterns from your subject image. If that happens, you can do what I did. Just use the image variations that came out best, like the one in black gym wear in my case, and ignore the ones that didn't turn out as expected. Now, let's change the prompt a little. This time, I'll try a different clothing style, a new scene, and a new pose. And as you can see, even with these changes, the consistency is still perfect. It's the same AI influencer every time. I went ahead and generated several more images, and the results stayed consistent. But remember, it's completely normal to get a few errors here and there. For example, one of my images had weird-looking hands. These small errors can happen occasionally. Here's what you can do if that happens. Try changing your prompt slightly. Switch up the pose, clothing color, or theme. You can also remove or simplify parts of your prompt and regenerate to see if it fixes the issue. If an image just won't come out right, simply skip it and move on to your next prompt. Now, let's talk about editing, because Whisk AI's integration with Google Nano Banana makes this part truly powerful. With it, you can easily add, remove, or modify elements in your image without affecting your influencer's appearance or facial consistency. For example, take this image right here. I want to remove the latte or coffee cup from the table because it looks a bit unrealistic. To do that, I'll just remove the previous prompt and type in a simple command, remove the coffee, then click generate. And just like that, the tool has removed the coffee perfectly. The best part is that it didn't affect anything else. The pose, face, and expression all stayed exactly the same. That's the strength of Nano Banana's integration inside Whisk AI. Let's test another one. For this next image, I'll ask it to add a small cream designer bag. After clicking generate, it adds the bag perfectly, and it looks so natural that you'd never guess it was edited in. It blends seamlessly with the rest of the image. Now let's try something else. I'll ask it to add a few people in the background. After generating, you can see the chain. It added the background people without altering the main influencer at all. Her pose, outfit, and expression all stayed consistent. This shows just how powerful the Nano Banana integration is. It performs precise edits while keeping your subject perfectly intact. Now, let's push this tool even further. For this next test, I want to change the influencer's outfit entirely, specifically her travel or airport outfit. So what I'll do is add another subject section below the current image, then upload an image showing the outfit and suitcase I want her to wear in this new generation. After Whisk AI finishes analyzing the new image, make sure it's also selected as an active subject. Now, I'll use the exact same prompt I used earlier to generate her previous outfit, but this time I'll update the clothing description to say she's wearing the the outfit in the second image. You don't need to overthink your prompt. Keep it simple. Whisk AI understands natural instructions very well. For example, in my prompt, I'll also change the part that says, with her suitcase beside her, to with the suitcase in the second image beside her, since that second image already includes a suitcase. Once that's done, let's hit generate and see what we get. And wow, the results are even better than I expected. Let me download the images so I can show you more clearly. If you look closely, you'll notice that the outfit she's wearing in this new image image perfectly matches the one from the second image I uploaded. The denim jacket, for instance, looks naturally fitted to her body, matching both the style and thickness of the original. Even the black inner clothing looks exactly the same. The design, the texture, even the stitching details are all identical. Take a look at the shoes, too. They match the exact style and size from the reference outfit image. Honestly, it's impressive how accurately Whisk AI transferred all these details. If we zoom in further, you'll see just how precise it is. The patterns and lines on the clothing clothing are identical to the outfit in the second image. I'm honestly surprised. This is my first time testing Whisk AI to this extent in a single video, and it has definitely exceeded my expectations. Even 
the sunglasses look almost identical in style and shape. And keep in mind, I didn't even mention sunglasses in my prompt. The AI just understood the full look and added them automatically. The earrings, however, are different because I didn't specify them in the prompt. So if you want an exact match, remember to include those small details too. The suitcase also turned out really similar in design to the one in the reference image. The only difference is that it didn't include the small bag on top since I didn't mention it. That shows how Whisk AI pays close attention to your specific instructions. The most impressive part is how Whisk AI added small natural enhancements, like accessories and details I never asked for, such as a necklace, rings, or even a watch. These subtle touches make the final image look even more realistic and complete. Overall, I'm genuinely amazed by how well Whisk AI handled this test. The combination with Google Nano Banana has made the tool extremely powerful for consistent and realistic AI influencer generation. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and test this method for yourself. Try creating your own AI influencer, generate multiple outfits, and experiment with prompts to see just how much control you have over the results. And the best part? Whisk AI is currently free to use, so take advantage of that while you still can. You're among the early adopters of this new AI influencer trend, and being early gives you a huge advantage before everyone else catches on. You could even start building your own AI influencer brand today. Create your character, design a unique aesthetic, and start posting consistently to grow your presence. I hope this video helped you understand this new method for creating a consistent AI influencer using Whisk AI and Google Nano Banana. I truly enjoyed testing it and sharing it with you. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and join our community to keep learning how to build online income streams. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.